Hello, my name's Emma from Somerset Libraries. So today is Reading Together Day, organised by the Reading Agency. So I'm going to read a little bit of Alice in Wonderland, um, the first introductory chapter. And I'm going to read it with my daughter here um, because we love reading together at home and we'll be doing lots of that during lockdown. Um, so, yeah, we're going to read a bit of Alice in Wonderland. So here goes. There's Alice in Wonderland and it's by Lewis Carroll and it's published by Macmillan. So here we go. Chapter one. Down the rabbit hole. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the day, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by. Like you, Bunny. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it was very much out of the way to hear the rabbit say to itself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late. When she thought it over afterwards, it occurred to her that she ought to have wondered at this, but at the time it had all seemed quite natural. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on, Alice started to her feet, for it flashed across her mind that she had never seen before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it. And burning with curiosity, she ran across the field after it and was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under the hedge. In another moment, Alice went after it never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way and then dipped suddenly down, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself before she found herself falling down what seemed to be a very deep well. Either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her and to wonder what was going to happen next. First, she tried to look down and make out what was co what was coming too, but it was too dark to see anything. Then she looked at the sides of the well and noticed that they were filled with cupboards and bookshelves. Here and there, she saw maps and pictures hung upon pegs. She took down a jar from one of the shelves as she passed. It was labelled orange marmalade. But to her great disappointment, it was empty. She did not like to drop the jar for fear of killing somebody underneath, so she managed to put it on one of the cupboards as she fell past it. Well, thought Alice to herself, after such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they'll all think me at home. Why, well, I wouldn't say anything about it, even if I fell off the top of the house, which was very likely true. Down, down, down. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many falls, how many miles I've fallen by this time, she said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the centre of the earth. Let me see. That would be 4,000 miles down, I think. For you see, Alice had learnt several things of this sort in her lessons in the schoolroom, and though this was not a very good opportunity to show off her knowledge, as there was no one to listen to her, still, it was good practice to say it over. Yes, that's about the right distance, but then I wonder what latitude or longitude I've got to. Alice had not the slightest idea what latitude was or longitude either but she thought they were nice grand words to say. OK, so that's the end of our extract from Alice in Wonderland, published by Macmillan and written by Lewis Carroll. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we hope you enjoy Reading Together Day. If you check out the Reading Agency website, there's lots of readings, activities and things for you to try. Uh, don't forget to follow Somerset Libraries on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, we hope, hope you enjoyed the story and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.